it works it absolutely works Hello guys and welcome back to Lampis. In this video I'm going to share with you how to prevent or to permanently remove hyperpigmentation under arms. If you have problem with dark armpits all the time and you're looking for a solution this is the video for you. The method that I'm going to show with you today is not like the classic YouTube method that is uh, remove or solve this problem overnight. This is something that actually takes time however it results in a permanent change and it works. You have probably already seen and read about, you know, use turmeric, use honey, use lemon juice, all these things. I tried one of this and I have that video. I'm going to leave it linked up here. I decided to stick to my old method and share that here on my platform with you. Without wasting time because this is like the fourth video I'm recording today, I just want to go straight to the point. What I use, or let me start by saying what I think the problem is with excessive um, excessive pigmentation under arm is mainly because the skin is probably irritated because of hair removal methods. So I would say that is problem number one, especially when it came to me. It's, it just started, you know, when I started removing the hair, removing the hair, that's when you start seeing that they just accumulation of pigment there, just becoming darker and darker and darker and darker. First thing you want to do to solve that is stop shaving, especially if you're using razors. I think that is the main cause of this problem. So what you want to do is stop that and choose other methods that are more gentle when it comes to hair removal. What I've tried before is things like uh, waxing I stopped doing that because for me it just my hair grows very fast I have really strong thick hair and I needed to go there two times as a student I couldn't afford that and then I also thought okay you know the next thing is just permanent laser hair removal I did <laughs> went for a consultation and wow the code was like 3,000 euro just to get my intimate area done I was like okay I'm not doing that what I found, what I'm currently using that works for me is this, epilating. Now this is very good because you just need to buy your device, use it at home and use it as often as you want. The good thing about this is, now before I even go to the good thing, I'm sure you're all saying, probably thinking this is very, very painful. Initially, this is very painful. But what I've noticed is that with the time, the hair grows very thinner and it, it becomes less painful and it becomes easier to remove the hair. I use the epilator once a week and that works perfectly for me. And I've been using this, I would say, for about two years now. So this works very well. If you can't use this, I would also say laser treatment would be probably best, just expensive. And otherwise, if you have less hair and your hair doesn't grow that fast, or if you don't don't have financial constraints, if you're not limited financially, you can also do waxing. I think it will work very well. If you have, you obviously need to go to a salon where they have already worked with like an African person before, or it's just like with kinky hair before, because our hair is quite tough and stronger than um, European hair, for example. So when I... Breathe no, it's not racist. <laughs> so when I used to do this, um, I would go to like a Brazilian salon or I would just call the lady and say, are you experienced? Or some people would just say, no, I'm not experienced. And I think it's fine too because you're paying. Obviously, you don't want to go to a salon where they're going to add something that doesn't remove the hair and in the end you have to pay for it. But if you can, this is the best. I paid a hundred euros for this. I have this done for two years. You use it every week at home. I would say that is way cheaper than waxing. A section of waxing, a session of waxing cost about 30 euros under arm, and then maybe you have to pay 25 for intake. That would be very expensive. Epilating is number one, which I think solve already about maybe 60% of the problem because the re the, pes the the skin is no longer reacting in an strongly in a negative way towards that so 60% of that problem is gone the next thing that is also crucial is then exfoliating 
you want to make sure you're removing all the dead cells accumulating and I don't know skin layer dead skin layer that is just there when the hair is growing over and over and you're cutting it you want to remove that for that I use a very simple simple homemade body scrub sugar olive oil if you want to add a little bit of um, essential oil like lavender or soil, I just use sugar and olive oil and that's it just to exfoliate maybe every third week I would also say I did this probably once a week but I don't have time to do that once a week I just do it I think every third to fourth week exfoliate just to remove the dry cell that I would say exfoliating helps a lot once you're done with the scrub another game changer to prevent excessive pigmentation under arms is and I think this is what also caused most of the problems is using a very gentle the right word will be gentle deodorant so this is the one that I use super gentle it doesn't um, smell strong and it's alcohol free before I used to use really strong deodorants like something that have alcohol something that's super strong but I think that also somehow irritates the skin especially you know imagine if you have like wiping your skin with alcohol every single day even when I work in the lab when I worked in the lab before every time I used a disinfectant you would need to probably wash your hands very well and again apply cream imagine if you're using alcohol or something super strong on your skin the part that you really want to be smooth and sensitive and soft it's just not the best thing because you can't apply cream afterward so just try to go for something gentle and this should work usually I opt for everything that is alcohol free and that doesn't smell strong but I think the smell does matter important it just doesn't have alcohol so it doesn't burn and it doesn't cause that excessive dryness on the skin to create more dead layers on top you know under the arm because I think that will create again it just make your skin look more pigmented for two years that's what I've been doing and eventually I have I don't have that problem anymore at all I unfortunately I also don't have here for you a before after because this is not like an overnight thing it's really something that takes time it works and it causes permanent changes it's not bleaching it's being mainly just making sure that your skin is not producing so many dead cells or you're not irritating the skin but at the same time I think that's the problem you want to solve because I think the pigmentation here is mainly because you are irritating the skin so much with the hair removal methods or techniques. Ale, do you have something to say? <laughs> what do I it's not even responding. Anyway, so that is what has been working for me for the past two years. Three steps you need to make sure that you're using a very gentle hair removal method. I use my epilator, it works very well, and I use it often, so once a week. That means I don't wait for all the hair to grow back for me to epilate it, otherwise that would be already a problem. My hair is quite strong. So I just make sure, step by step, as soon as one or two <laughs> few hair comes out, I'm on that. Second thing, a gentle exfoliating scrub you want to use something like homemade maybe just sugar and olive oil I avoid salt because if you have some cuts or so this might be very painful and then the last thing you want to do is to make sure that you are always using a very gentle deodorant I use Buro what is it called? Buro Taco this is like a unisex it's the only thing we use myself and my husband and yeah with that I have this result and I'm actually happy and I'm thinking that I'm only going to expect uh, more changes also as, as I continue doing this, this techniques that I've just shared with you today. It's, it works. It absolutely works. Two years. And the skin is actually quite soft. You can't even tell anymore if it's underarm. I just epilated few days ago quite nice quite soft if I was shaving you'd see oh this will be dark it's a combination of just uh, ingrown hair short hair that is just cut and they're not pulled out from their roots and also just excessive skin that is growing in an irritated form because you are irritating the skin around here this is nice super clean and 
works, but not overnight. Like finally just okay to to go somewhere, to go to a party and just chill and hang and it's okay to wear open stuff, especially during the summer I don't have problem anymore. My armpit my armpits do not look you know embarrassing anymore, so it's just fine. Anyway guys, if you enjoy this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next video. If you would like to see the this instant bleaching option or anti hipaa pigmentation option, I will leave the link to that video up here and you can just go and check it. I did the review of the whole thing I've seen on YouTube and in the end I also shared with you if it works or not. That was it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting Lempis. And yeah, I wish you a beautiful summer and stay at home and stay safe.